Hello and welcome to tonight's news bulletin live from this news center of the South Anatofoman television. But first, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq gives an audience at, Beit, uh, at Baraka Palace to His Excellency, the U.S. Secretary of State. The restructuring of the state's administrative apparatus comes in line with Oman Vision 2040 to continue the development march in the Sultanate. And the Governorate Affairs Council in its first meeting reviews the proposals and recommendations to develop the governorates. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. And now, the details. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq gave an audience today to His Excellency Mike Pompeo, U.S. Secretary of State at Al Baraka Palace. During the meeting, aspects of existing bilateral cooperation between the Sultanate and the United States were reviewed within the framework of the closed ties binding them besides matters of common interest. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Musaidi, Foreign Minister, and Her Excellency Leslie M. Tsu, U.S. Ambassador to the Sultanate, and the accompanying delegation of His Excellency the Guest. <coughs> His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq sends a couple of greetings to His Excellency President Dr. Igor Dodon of the Republic of Moldova on his country's independence anniversary. With the recent restructuring of the government, Oman stands renewed and aspired to meet its goals in Oman Vision 2040. The recent changes are geared towards raising the level of government excellence, performance and resilience in dealing with financial and economic situations in a systematic manner by building capacities and sharpening the national economy competitiveness. His Majesty Sultan Hitham bin Tariq's two speeches in January and February marked a new age for Oman transforming the vision for renaissance into a reality by revitalizing the, the government institutions, updating the legislations and laws, and redefining the roles of the state institutions. In the meeting with the cabinet, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq affirmed that the restructuring of the state institutions came in line with the Oman Vision 2040 to upscale the governments performance and comply with the developments witnessed by the country over the last decades. The government restructuring the new cabinet changes in the names of some ministries and cancellation of councils and public authorities came to realize the top priorities of Oman Vision 2040 to establish resilient and innovative government management that can manage public expenditures and set priorities that target people's needs in obtaining timely services establishing community welfare and nurturing the national identity. The Governorate's Affairs Council held its first meeting at the chairmanship of His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal al Busaidi, Minister of Interior. At the beginning of the meeting, His Excellency, the Chairman of the Council expressed his gratitude for the issuance of the Royal Decree on Governorate and Municipality Affairs System, in which His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq affirmed during a cabinet meeting that the state is moving forward to give the governorates and the governors much attention to enable them to advance and develop by conferring the competencies necessary to shoulder their responsibilities to promote the economy, investments and trade. 
The council reviewed its competitors, uh, competitiveness, which include reviewing issues forwarded by His Majesty Sultan or the cabinet, reviewing issues of joint interest between the governorates and coordinating between the governorates in exercising their competencies and unifying the work mechanisms, following up with development projects in the governorates and overcoming obstacles and forwarding an annual report to the cabinet on the council works proposals and recommendations to develop the governorates. You're watching the South and of Oban television and yet to come in our news bulletin. The craft works in the governorate of South Sharqiya reflect the Omani heritage and support the national economy. Once again, welcome back uh, to the news from the South and of Oman Television. Under the theme Promising Leaders, the training program for schools administrations was conducted via video conference at the Directorate General of Education in al -Buremi. A number of specialists at the level of the South that took part in the four-day event. It targeted schools, principals in the governorates of al -Buremi, aiming to empower them to lead the educational development as part of the Oman Vision 2040. It discussed topics such as using technology in the educational process and the importance of planning achieving educational goals. The Minister of Health has said that the cases of COVID-19 in the Sultanate reached 85,005. It also pointed out that the total recovery stood at 79,608 with a cure rate of 93.6%, whereas the cumulative number of deaths reached 650. Craft works in the governorate of Southern Sharqiya is one of the elements of Omani heritage that reflects the beauty of the past. These works are also a source of income for many families in the Omani society, the works of which are developed by Omani artisans through conducting many workshops in this regard. They put their modern touches on these deep-rooted elements of Omani heritage. They are also keen to teach young generations these craft industries. The Wilay of al Bremi witnessed rains so with their varied intensities which led to some wadis and their tributaries to overflow. Here are some footage of the rainfall and the flowing wadis. Moderate to heavy rains uh, also fell on the wilaya of Al Qabil in the governorate of North of Sharqiya, which led uh, to an Najd Wadi to overflow along with others in various surrounding areas. The employees of the Environment Authority were able to rescue a green turtle that lives in the Sultanate after it was trapped in one of the mountain rocks in the beach of the Governorate of South Sharqiya. The team, in cooperation with citizens, returned the turtle to the sea and ensured that it was not hurt. The turtle was stuck in the rocks due to high tides prevailing in the region. It's worth mentioning that the Governorate of South Sharqiya is an area where a number of various kinds of turtles live, while the authorities' employees are monitoring all beaches in the area to protect such kind of turtles. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television, and before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. 
His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq gives an audience at Al Baraka Palace to His Excellency the U.S. Secretary of State. The restructuring of the state's administrative apparatus comes in line with Oman Vision 2040 to continue the development march in the South. And the Governorate Affairs Council in its first meeting reviews the proposals and recommendations to develop the Governorate. And with that, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the South and Oman Television. From the entire news team and myself, we do thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and to all of you, good night. إن كانت هناك ضرورة مهمة لاستخدام وسائل النقل العام اختر وسيلة نقل غير مزحومة عقم يديك قبل وبعد صعود الباص اترك مقعد بينك وبين الراكب الآخر